In the end term examinations, you'll encounter various question formats to assess your knowledge and critical thinking skills. One such format is the true false statements MCQ. These questions require you to evaluate the correctness of two given statements. Let's explore this format in detail. In true false statements MCQs, you will be presented with two statements, statement 1 and statement 2. Your task is to carefully assess the accuracy of each statement and then choose the most appropriate answer from the options provided. Here's how these questions are structured. Let's illustrate this format with an example. Statement 1. The Indian Ocean is the largest ocean on Earth. Statement 2. The currency of India is the Indian rupee. Now, based on these statements, what would your answer be? Take a moment to evaluate the accuracy of each statement and select the most appropriate option. The correct answer in this case is option D. Statement 1 is incorrect. The Indian Ocean is not the largest ocean on Earth. It is the third largest, after the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Statement 2 is correct. The currency of India is indeed the Indian Rupee, INR. When you encounter true-false statements MCQs in Swayam examinations, carefully analyze the provided statements and determine their correctness. These questions test your knowledge and the ability to distinguish factual accuracy. Make sure to read and evaluate each statement independently before selecting your answer. Best of luck with your studies and exams.